Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the one who sits far above the heavens, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And this is the day the Most High has made, and with the children of the Most High, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it, amen and amen. My name is Lily Ibiwari Irofakuma. Um, I want to say a very big thank you for all those who have been supporting this channel in one way or the other. Thanks to those who uh, remember to give to um, the less privileged, um, the widows, um, to, for blessing this ministry from dust to eternal life, evangelical ministry. In this ministry, we go to the orphanage, we um, ask for donation for the orphanage or anything you want to give to the orphanage we give to the widows the less privileged people the poor widows those who are broken on the street we reach out to them by preaching the undiluted um, gospel of the of salvation uh, of reconciliation so um i just want to say a very big thanks to those who have have been praying for me uh the most i bless you thank you so much those who remember to bless me financially those who remember to bless me financially um the lord bless you in due season uh, you will receive your reward the most high bless you thank you so much and if you're new to this channel you come across any of my videos you are welcome you're free to subscribe to like share and comment and do not forget to click the notification but then so each time i upload a new video you will be notified now um i wasn't ready to come to um, come online today um i've been away for some days um just being in the presence of the most high and it's been beautiful it's been really beautiful um i log out on all um i off my mobile data switch um one of the phone that i'm always busy with uh, from time to time i like to do that just to be in the present of the lord um i just came online today after some days um i had a disturbing a very disturbing dream okay it was a dream last this morning being today is ninth right um it's today night of of um january 2024 please pardon me now in this dream i now i i'm waiting i was waiting on the lord okay so um i got up from a dream and in this dream i saw myself somewhere in front of a river and in that place there is a big ship you know ship big ship where i saw a lot of people so many when i mean so many maybe hundreds or hundreds of people or thousands a lot of people different nationalities were in this ship and um, it's as if before you go into the ship, you have to. I don't know. I don't know if only when it gets to my turn and one other girl. So I saw um, a girl, a lady, a young lady, with me. So people were going to the ship, and trust me, this ship was packed. It was packed. I have no idea where they were heading to or we are heading to no idea at all so um they said anybody that is to, uh, will enter the ship at that time has to hold the ship the front of the ship there is like a two like 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 a stick oh, um, joined with the ship so you have to hold that place very tight and you have to go inside the water like uh, it's like it am i how am i going to put it it's like a test okay it's like a test something like a trial so you have to be under the water while you're holding the in the front of the ship you have to go under the water while you're holding your two hands you have to hold that place firm 
okay and uh, it has to be for some minutes of which i i don't know the amount of time before when you when you complete that minute then you can come out then you can climb and enter the ship now before this um all these things take were, were taking place i in my mind deep down at the back of my mind inside my my mind i feel that something is not right so i'm not supposed to be in that ship i said i'm not supposed to be in that ship like i was contemplating and some people know that i didn't want to enter into the ship i didn't want to go but i just feel in my spirit i can't really i cannot really figure out but i could feel it in my spirit that i'm not supposed to be in that ship so but i went ahead and there's this girl that was supposed to come too so i either me or the girl something like that so i quickly rushed and i said okay let me do it like without i now went inside i held the ship and i went inside the water and um, it's, it was as if uh, some things were in the water i don't know but i said i don't want to see anything that's what i said i said i don't want to see anything mystery any mysterious thing in the water i don't want to see it because i'll be scared that's what i said to myself so i closed my eyes when i was in the water held the the, the place very very tight and when i uh, i was there i tried 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 to make sure i complete the time so i complete the time and i came out of the water so by the time i came out of the water entered the ship a man came to me it's like in real life i know him you know a man came to me and he said um that i'm not supposed to come into the ship i'm like i'm like why you know like time up i'm like why why am i not supposed to come into the ship then the next thing he said or maybe some other person or he said um because there is a leakage in that particular ship there's already a leakage that water will be entering into that ship there's a leakage and i'm like a leakage oh at that point in time i said oh i'm not supposed to be in this ship so when i climb up to the up, up, upper deck i saw chinese i saw different nationality i saw chinese filipino i saw different nat nationality in this ship and as i was there i was like feeling in my mind unworthy okay um like i didn't do well something like that then the people in the ship these uh, chinese people and other people they were praising me they said no that you tried they were saying we've never seen somebody with so much strength so much patience so much energy so much strength they were just praising me i'm like wow they were, don't worry you did well don't worry you have no problem i'm like okay so we the next day i saw the ship took off they started sailing as the ship was going water was entering the ship I'm like, eh, eh. So we want, we were sailing to the middle of the sea, and I saw the ship going down. It was going down. It was going down. The next thing we went to a very wide, a very big wide ocean. Okay, it was a very big ocean we went to. In the middle of the ocean, I knew that the ship wanted to want to want to you know um, drown or capsize. I'm like, wow. So if anything happened, how are people going to be saved? I was not thinking about the people, thinking of, I said, I said, I'm not supposed to be at this ship. I, I, I was warned, like in my spirit, I knew that I wasn't supposed to be there. What have I done? So as I was speaking, before I could finish talking, this ship capsided from the side. I don't know if it was the left or the right side, but the ship, wasn't doesn't it's like it does not have the capacity or there was a problem you know as if something in the middle of the sea something happened that i could not really say i'm not going to um add up i'm not going to add up and this ship capsized heavily like it just turned the side and fell into the water so i'm like thinking okay there might be a uh, boat small, small boat to help people i didn't see anything i was not thinking I, I, at that point in time, I was confused. Like, when I mean confused, I didn't know what to do. So, but because I know that in the real life, in reality, I'm a swimmer. I can swim in any waves. I can swim. I I'm, I'm, I was born into it. So, because growing up, we always travel by boat, wide seas with you know, with heavy current, 
and you know so i am not afraid of of, of no matter how wide you know the sea is so i knew that i can swim but i was as i was thinking um a woman so we i started you know looking for now i'm looking because we're in the middle of a wide a very wide ocean so i don't know whether to swim to the left to the right to front because we have to swim to a ground like you know on um, the edge the the, the ed edge of the sea to, to be safe you know and as i was um contemplating on this i now i wasn't scared that much because in all my dream in all my visions i have had that has to do with boat capsizing or being in a boat or sea even when i have had dreams that you know boat capsized you know some people die i give the most high praise that in every vision dream i have had about boat being capsized i am always safe hallelujah always everybody may die people may die but i am safe is it that in a very wide sea i'm scared and then uh, in the realm of this i'm talking about in the realm of the spirit i'll see something will wage me like i'm standing on a solid solid ground i'm not seeing it but in all my dreams in all my visions i've always been saved when a boat capsized or i even help people a lot of people like that you know i have never drowned or died or wouldn't be able to make it no i am always safe I want to make that clear so i swim i started swimming with some people we we're just swimming I, I know children people died a lot of people were you know scattered so i started now this place was strange so i managed to swim across a particular place at, you know so when i swim swim to that particular place with some other people there's a sister i know she's actually a born again too she's a real born again she lives in germany her name is sister mercy I saw her in the realm of the spirit and this woman told me you didn't want to come she said you should have listened to your inner man she said you should have like i should have trusted my instinct my inner man she said you were not supposed to you didn't want to come before you should have stayed back you won't be going through this she kept on saying it i said i know i know right i know i know so I was regretting because I knew in my spirit before I enter into that, that ship that I'm not supposed to be in that ship. Wrong ship. It was a wrong ship. So uh, she was telling me that I said, okay. So as we were talking, we had already gotten to the edge, like the end of the sea, another part, you know, like, you know how seas, I don't know what to call it, the end, the edge of the sea. So this is where we were. So we're like looking for a place to go in, like, you know, um at least the bush the forest there are dry places even if it's all trees so we saw like a house like as if there was a city inside um one of the place like a creek there's a there's an entrance there's like you know i won't like a road but it's not a road because it's still in the sea you know there's a place you can pass through you know like a small you know entrance so as we were seeing we're seeing a house but it was it was deceitful because the front was so fine so we think that oh this place is nice it will be safe for people to be safe so people were want to go in there then at the edge of that um place i saw like a, a board like a billboard or signboard a board and in this board the board was big i saw michael jackson late michael jackson picture i saw late michael jackson picture like you know when they want to do like um a show and they will put the, the, the artist or maybe pastor crusade or something you know they will put the pastor's picture or the artist you know the picture so it was michael jackson picture i see and the particular picture of michael jackson i saw on that billboard was the one that he he turned into a well wild wolf you know what they call it wild wolf and wild wolf so in that is music called thriller night okay thriller nights that thriller thriller nights or the way it turned into a wild, wild wolf at the end you know it was so demonic with the with the green looking eyes with the teeth with you know scary it was scary of michael jackson picture and they said tonight michael jackson is playing that's what they said and i'm like but michael jackson is dead he is dead that's what i heard this i said he's dead they said well michael jackson is playing tonight i said that place i said i'm not going i'm not going to attend that kind of concert or something like that 
So we went into that place because we were looking for a place of safety. Me and some of that people, a lot of the people that when the ship capsized, you know, made it to that end. Why some people, you know, the water that cannot swim, I don't know what happened to them. Maybe the boat, uh, the ship pressed them or something. So, brothers and sisters, when I got into that place, it was a disaster. I was telling my daughter, I said, I hope, I was just telling her before I came to make this video, I hope this does not happen in real life. It's not something that anybody wants to experience. I pray, children of God, children of the Most High, children of the Most High, please take heed. We are entering into some serious perilous time. I saw people, they, you, uh, they were not human, they were not looking, they were like looking like human, but they were different from the natural man. They were different. That's the best I can describe them. They just came out, they were many, and they were after the real human. Inside that forest, inside that bush, these people came out, this thing, you know, I, I don't know what to call them. They were not human. They were like different kind of breed. You know, I'm not going to call them alien or something, zombies, I don't know. But they came out, they were like, coming out from, it was like they were not, okay, they were not human. They were not human. But they were looking like human, but not human. So they came and they were just eating the real human. They are only after eating the real human. They come, they will just bite you, grab you. They will eat the person, the person will die. They will just eat you up, kill you. So I, it was so scary. This is one of the vision dreams I've had that is so scary. It was so scary and looked so real. And as, as this whole thing was going on, they were running, people were running, people were running into the, they were just like, it, I don't know how to put, it was a disaster. It was a real disaster. As they were eating up the people, I got into a particular house. It was open, there was no hiding place. So I pretended like I am dead. I have to hold my breath. I have to hold my breath. That was the first thing that happened in that ship that you have to go under the water learn how to hold your breath okay that was what happened before i entered into the ship so i saw myself doing holding my breath <laughs> hallelujah thank you holy spirit so as i was holding my breath they think that you're dead if you be able to hold your breath they think that you are dead so in other words these people that is taking these people from this ship know that there are some things you need to practice I want you to listen to this video very well over and over again. If you have a question, you ask. And the Lord, has, if the Lord has blessed you to have an interpretation of dream, please free, feel free to write it under the comment section. And please share this video. You're not doing it for me. These events are going to take place. I'll tell you why. So as I was trying to hold my breath, they see that you act dead. They will leave you. They come for the living they only come for the living and they were eating up people. So I don't know what happened. I saw a lady I know, her name is Princess. So I took some scrub. And she was saying, your mom gave it to you or something like that. And now my mom is dead. I'm like, I just was looking at her. I took some scrub. I mixed some scrub. I don't know what I mixed inside the scrub. Whether it's honey, I don't know. So I was using it to rub myself, to rub all over my body, like in the realm of the spirit. As I was doing so that I could be able to bath, I don't know why I was doing that. And then these demons were still attacking, eating people, and I woke up. This part, I, you know, I remember I woke up, and that was how the vision ended. Now, yesterday, Shalom came to me. Or the, was it a for yesterday? Shalom came to me, and she was really, really scared. She kept on having a dream of. People trying to come into people's houses to attack people. That it was like in the vision, uh, it was like there was a curfew, and people were just running for their hiding place. And uh, in this vision, she said one of my nephew that they killed him because he wasn't able. That she was trying to gather people. This vision, Shalom has been seeing it over and over again. I'll try and tell her to do a video, even if audio she doesn't show her face, since she does not like publicity. She doesn't like media. So, brethren, I just came up quickly to tell you this vision. 
some people came to me to my comment section i'm going to name her i'll call you out sister susie fago said because i made a video about what the lord the holy spirit showed me about sister regina you are coming to oppose god's servant me the most high servant a genuine born again to the glory of the most high I, I am not angry with you but i'm disappointed you've not gone to pray i'm sure you haven't gone to truly pray of what i have shared before you come against a servant of the most high you need to go and pray you forgot People forgot that we're in the last days, we're in the hour of deception. I made a video where I saw an antichrist deceiving people. I was even deceived in the realm of the spirit, but the most I opened my eyes in the realm of the spirit to know that these people who are doing this thing, they are, they are deceitful. If you do, if anybody watching this video, listening, that is not aware that we're in the hour of great, great deception, then that is your own cup of tea. I will not be deceived because the Bible said there will be many that will come in wolf in sheep clothing, meaning they will come, they will be so real. They will come as so real. The white they will wear, they will be so real. But they are wolf in sheep clothing. You need the, the you need to be clothed. You need to have some kind of special spiritual blessings. I'm telling you the truth to be able to know these people by studying your word, by being in the presence of the Lord. Not those any any fasting, real deep fasting, staying away from media, offering your phones. Deny yourself from some certain things for you to be able to hear from the Lord. So anybody who come out and tie wear white, and if you see them in the in, in the realm of the spirit wearing white, they are real. Can I tell you something? There's a church called Celestial Church of, the, of of Christ. There's a listen very carefully. There's a church called Celestial Church of Christ. There's a church they call Cherubim and Sheraphim. These are long time old in these churches that still exist. And there's one that is called Olumba, Olumba, Obu, O, O, Obu. These people wear white, pure white. They don't wear shoes into their church. These people, are, they fast more than you and I. They can fast for 21 days. They will not eat. But you know what? They, they, the Lord revealed to me, these people are marine. They serve marine. They serve marine. Olumba, Olumba, Obu, they wear white. They serve man. The water. These are water spirits. I saw Sister Regina with Olumba Olumba Obu member in the realm of the spirit. She was wearing white like them. Do you think the deception is only physical? Do you know that people will disguise prophets and prophets that are evil? They will disguise themselves in the realm of the spirit that appear to you, doing as if they are doing deliverance for you, but they are casting spell on you. I understand spiritual things to so the glory of the Most High. I do understand spiritual things to so the glory of the Most High. Because I was in a church where they taught me how to pray, how to channel prayers. And I have been blessed from childhood that I see beyond the physical. That even when I have my, a dream to myself, now I know what the meaning. Now I've come to realize that so many things you see in the spiritual realm is not the same thing as physical. But there are some people that have the prophetic gift that the Lord will show them something exactly. When a servant of the Lord is coming to talk, because you people lack discernment, you will come against me. You better go and pray. Anybody coming against my vision, my go and pray for mercy. Because the Bible says, one to them that call good evil, evil good. Yes, women have role to play in God in the most high kingdom. But I still stand my ground because I go with the Bible. The most high will never tell a woman to lead his people. If you don't understand my, 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 my videos, ask me a question. When I said they are taking people to uh, 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 South Africa, will they feed? Not many people have that kind of faith. I know what I am saying. Not many people have that kind of faith. The Lord speaks to me. He tells me things. I'm going to end up this video like this. Some people are going on a journey of no return. Mark my word. Anytime you watch this video, it... Unless I'm not a child of the Most High. Unless I'm not a servant of the Most High. I hear from no other than the Most High. The Holy Spirit. Mark my word. Anytime you watch this video, write down the date, the time. Don't division may tarry. But wait for it. Many people are going on a journey because of wilderness events. 
they will not return. Many people are going through the wrong way. We are in the hour of great deception. I really, I have delivered my message. My people are perishing for lack of knowledge. You go and read your Bible yourself. People are perishing for lack of knowledge. The Bible said they shall deceive many. In the last days, they will deceive many wolf in sheep clothing. Many false prophets, many false teachers shall arise and they shall deceive many. Jesus said they will say, oh, behold, this in the secret chamber. He said, go not, believe not, not believe them not. Go, don't go. Some will say, they will say, he is in the wilderness. He said, go not. He said, many false prophets shall arise and they will deceive many. Unless those days be shortened. Those days will be shortened. They will deceive the very elect, but for the elect sake, those days will be shortened. I read my Bible. I believe the word of the most High. I am, this is one channel. I know that I'm speaking the truth. I don't need, I don't owe anybody any obligation. If you want to believe me, you believe me. If you don't believe me, that is your own cup of tea. Write my word. Write down the date, the time, everything about this video. Write it down. Let's watch. Some people are going to on a boat, on a place of no return. Some people are going to a place. How are you sure that the people you are packing to South Africa or wherever they are going to, are, use your brain. Everybody use your brain. How are you so sure that you are counted worthy? How are you sure that you are worthy? I'm not saying people, will, I am praying. I am not one of those prophets that will come or prophetess that will come and give visions and waiting for bad things to happen. No. I personally, I pray against it because the Lord will reveal something to you so that you will pray. I am warning again. Some people are going for a journey of no return in the name of Second Exodus. The Lord knows I have delivered my message. I'm not even supposed to be on, online. But well, I am already. For all those who think of, because I, I, people don't know me, I don't have subscribers. I am not pursuing that. Okay? I am a soul winner to the glory of the most. And I'm happy. I am a street preacher. I am a laborer. I am, God has put, the most has put me in the field where I, I am grateful. I don't need to show things, everything I'm doing behind the camera. I am a true prophetess. I am a true evangelist. I have offices the Lord has put me. It, so I am grateful. I don't care whether you think I have. If the Lord want to announce me, he will by himself announce me. If he doesn't, he's saving me. He's keeping me. He doesn't want me to be corrupt. He's keeping me, saving me. He knows what he's doing. I have passed this message. Be careful. Wherever you are, the most is able, is able to save you. Unless he speaks to you to move, then you move. The most I bless you. What about those who are in the in different places? I know what the Lord has showed me recently. He showed me something beautiful about Africa. It's not even South Africa. It's in Nigeria. He showed me something about Jamaica. I'm going to make a video by his grace. The most I bless you. And but before we go, remember for without holiness, for without righteousness, of which no man can see the most I. For it is appointed for a man to die once afterward is judgment. And also remember that righteousness is a sacrifice. Unless you're ready to, to do sacrifice. When I mean sacrifice, deny yourself. The most I bless you. I will see you in my next video if the most I is willing. Bye for now.